Okay, just want to say congratulations. If you've reached the end of this course, that's great. And now we're going to talk about more editor options. Now, besides the Gutenberg and Classic Editor, there are actually more editor options available commercially. Now, what I mean by that is that there are other plugins that have different editors that look nice. Some of them include Thrive Themes, WP Bakery, and Elementor. Now, each has its pros and cons. They have their strengths and weaknesses. And really what it comes down to is which one do you like the best? So you saw Gutenberg. Most of these are very similar to Gutenberg and they utilize blocks, but they just look a lot more nicer and they have a lot more options. So that's really the main difference. So we like Elementor the most because it's super easy and more importantly, super fast. One thing to note is that as you begin to add more plugins to your WordPress site, it will actually slow things down. So what we've done is when we've tested things, we found that Elementor is, it doesn't have a lot of, it has a lot of features, but it doesn't have a lot of coding. So it runs really, really fast and it won't slow your website down. So with that said, like I said, Thrive Themes and WP Baker are really, really good choices. So let's go ahead and hop on over to those websites and show you these in action. Okay, so let me talk about the differences before we actually install Elementor as a plugin. So if we go up at the top here, we've got WP Bakery Page Builder. And as you can see, between the three of these, there are millions of people that use three of these editors. So it really comes down to which one do you like the best and which one fits your business the best or your website. So as you can see, this one costs $45. And if you scroll down, you can get an idea of what it looks like. Now we've used WP Bakery before and it's really decent. There's a lot of templates in it that are built in. In fact, Thrive Themes and Elementor have the same thing. So for all of these, you'll find templates. You can find and you can look through the templates and if you like them, all you have to do is simply click them and you get the design. So as you can see, the main difference between these and Gutenberg is Gutenberg does not give you templates. You are building everything from scratch. Same goes for the classic editor. So these take your design level to a whole new level. So this is WP Baker. You can see the features here. So there's a lot of things you can do. So to get here is WP Bakery. Dot com. Next up is Thrive Themes. That's thrivethemes.com. Now, Thrive Themes is a lot different than just an editor. They have tons of plugins that go into things like opt in pages. You can create sales pages. You can create funnel pages. You can do all sorts of things. So it's not just an editor. So you can see here, you can create forms. You can create all sorts of light boxes. You can do A-B testing. You can do a huge amount. And this is something that a lot of businesses typically use because it has so many different features. So it's very, very feature rich. So as you can see, here are the features right here. Now it's a little more expensive as you can see it's 147 for 15 licenses, but remember WP Bakery was about 47 for a single license. It's about 67, which is only $20 more for one license for this. And the next one is Elementor. Elementor is mainly an editor like WP Bakery or Gutenberg. But like I said, the difference is it's more similar to the WP Bakery in the sense that it is an editor and it also allows you to pick and choose templates. And then those templates, you can click a button and then it adds it as a page. 
So I'm going to show you that in action. Elementor has a free download, as you can see here. But what I found is Elementor is super fast. It's super easy to create really good looking sites with ease. So you're kind of getting an idea here. Scroll down here. So it says built for professionals from freelancers to agencies. So you can use this, let's say, for example, if you're like a web designer, a website master or anything like that. So this is great to use for your clients. You can also build forms like Thrive Themes to build a list. It's developer friendly, so you can edit the code very, very easily. And it's built with blocks. So I'm going to show you Elementor in just a second. So we'll go back over here. Now I'm going to go ahead and deactivate the classic editor because I don't want that. What I do want, I'm going to click on add new. We're going to go type in Elementor. So that's Elementor. Make sure we spell it right like that. So immediately upon entering the keyword, we can see that here, Elementor page builder. Now bear in mind, they have a pro version, which you can buy, but you can do a lot with their free editor. Just the free level itself, there's a lot of really good features. And that's why I like it. And that's why I feel comfortable with recommending that to you. Now, as you can see here, it says, welcome to Elementor. You can watch that. We're going to create our first page. So we click on this. Now, what you're going to see is you're going to see your website. So if you have widgets on the right side or the left side or the header at the top, you're going to see that as well. Now, this is the Elementor editing box. So all you have to do is simply drag a widget here from over here, or you can click the plus sign similar to the Gutenberg and add a section. So we have intersections, we have headings, we have text editors, images, videos, buttons, spacers, dividers, Google Maps, icons. So as you can see, Gutenberg does not have Google Maps or icons. So there's more. You got image box, you have icon boxes, you have star ratings, you have image galleries, image carousels, icon lists, progress bar. So let's say, for example, that this were to be an opt-in page. So if we clicked progress bar and we dragged it over here and we dropped it, there we go. That's it. It's super easy. And of course, you have the settings over here that you can edit. And of course, I can go back over here and click plus. Let's say we want a section here. Let's have two columns. So we click plus and we can go back over here. Let's add maybe heading here. And then, of course, we'll go back over here and we can add maybe an image. So you can see that it's actually a lot easier than Gutenberg when it comes to editing. So that's the free version. Now, let's say, for example, that you want to utilize one of their templates. So if that's the case, I'm just going to delete these here like that. I'm going to click on this folder here. So click on the folder. What it's going to do is it's going to allow you to enter their library of templates. So you can see which ones are free and which ones are on the pro level. The pro level has this little icon that says pro. You can't use that unless you have the pro level plugin. So you have to purchase it. But I tell you, it's definitely worth it. Now, as you scroll down, you can see blocks actually. So blocks over here and then we have pages over here and then you have templates over here. So blocks essentially are different media or different blocks or areas that you can add. So for example, you can, let's say I like this, I'm going to add this and I'm going to add this and then I'm going to add this. So that's basically the method of blocks. It's very similar to Gutenberg. And then of course you have pages, which are the templates. So if you scroll down here, there's all sorts of really cool looking templates and designs that really can take your site 
to a whole new level to make it look professional. So let's say, for example, that we're selling something and that we want to, we like this one here or yeah, let's, let's do this one. Okay. Never mind. That's pro. So let's scroll down and find something that we really like. So let's say, for example, that we're editing our web website and it's still in construction mode, but it's coming soon and it's coming in two weeks. If that's the case, let's say we like this one here. We, okay, that's pro. Okay, we'll just do this one here, okay? Click insert. That's all you have to do. You just wait a few seconds and there you go. So it will insert that template in here and all you have to do is change the text. You can change the images and there you go. So that's Elementor. I highly recommend that you can upgrade to the pro version, but as you can see, Utilize the free version first. If you feel like you need to go pro, go pro. If you don't, stick with the free. So I hope you enjoyed this course. You can see the differences between Gutenberg, the classic editor, WP Bakery, Thrive Themes, and Elementor.